Hello! I am going to read The Jacket I Wear in the Snow by Shirley Nitzel, pictures by Nancy Winslow Parker. And this is a fun book for you to read along with me because there's going to be some pictures that help us with the words. And I love how we have a little border, almost a frame of pattern around this. So let's see what is going to happen and if you can help me with some of these words. This is the jacket I wear in the snow. This is the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. This is the scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. This is the stocking cap for my head that matches the scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Now this is very, these are very pretty with the red, but I particularly like the mittens with the different lines. Look at the zigzag line and shapes. So they've made a pattern. These are the mittens that hang from each arm that I wear with the cap for my head that matches the scarf woolly and red that's caught on the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. This is getting all bundled up. Oh, look at this. So if these are woolly, if they're made of wool, where did that come from? It came from a sheep. So look, they had the sheep on there. Now a lot of my scarves and hats are actually made of cotton and they're not made of wool, but those are really pretty, I like that. This is the sweater, all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm that I wear with the cap for my head that matches a scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. These are the jeans, stiff in the knee, that go under the sweater, all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm that I wear with the cap for my head that matches a scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Oh, are you doing a better job than me reading? Let's try again. Oh, look at the boots. These are the boots too big for me that cover the jeans stiff in the knee, that go under the sweater all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm, that I wear with the cap for my head, that matches the scarf woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. This is long underwear, bunchy and hot that is stuffed in the boots too big for me that cover the jeans, stiff in the knee, that go under the sweater, all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm, that I wear with the cap for my head, that matches a scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper, that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Oh, wow. These are the socks, wrinkled a lot that are pulled over underwear, bunchy and hot, that is stuffed in the boots too big for me, that cover the jeans stiff in the knee, that go under the sweater all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm, that I wear with the cap for my head, that matches the scarf woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Ah, oh, these are the tears that fell from my eyes that dripped on the socks, wrinkled a lot, that are pulled over the underwear, bunchy and hot. I'm gonna go faster, are you ready? That is stuffed in the boots too big for me, that cover the jeans, stiff in the knee, that go under the sweater all itchy and warm, that meets the mittens that hang from each arm, that I wear for the cap, for my head, that matches a scarf, woolly and red, that's caught in the zipper, that's stuck on the jacket I wear in the snow. Oh no, look, oh, he got, oh, he got all tangled up, are you okay? Look at the birds looking down on him. He's got too, he's too bundled up. This is my mother who heard my cries and wiped the tears that fell from my eyes and loosened the scarf woolly and red and slipped off the stocking cap from my head. Oh, that's nice to help. Can you tell that these, what this artist used to color in these illustrations, can you tell what material they used? Hmm, do you think it's paint? No, to me it looks like colored pencil. See how it has a little texture in there and how they overlapped the colors and they made little shadows using darker, maybe pressing down a little bit harder. Oh, let's reread it because this all goes together. 
This is my mother who heard my cries and wiped the tears that fell from my eyes and loosened the scarf, woolly and red, and slipped out the stocking cap from my head and unpinned the mittens that hung from each arm and unbuttoned the sweater all itchy and warm and unzipped the boots too big for me and straightened the jeans, stiffened the knee. Look at the kitty cat. Oh, I love her little mismatched socks too. And smoothed the long underwear, bunchy and hot, and pulled up the socks that were wrinkled a lot. Uh-oh, what's the little cat doing? It's trying to play. Oh, the mom's getting a little upset. Look, her face is red. Her eyebrows are down. She says, don't play with those. When she unstuck the zipper of the jacket I wear in the snow. Oh, now they're all together having little sweet treats. The snowy weather outside. Look how the mittens clip onto the jacket. I hope you enjoyed that story.